Hi, I'm your math professor, Barbara Ademaker, and we are going to take a little tour of the class. This is called an orientation, and it's designed to help you. This is part one of your orientation to the class. And that's my dog, Blaze. What do the two have in common? Well, actually, Blaze was looking longingly at my computer, and she asked me in her own doggy way, could she be in the class? Well, I figured it must be okay. Her younger brother works for Microsoft. Maybe she'll be good at playing with computers, too. So we went to my math lab there at this web address. And Blazy clicked on student. And because Blazy is new to this, she signed up for beginning algebra. Now that doesn't mean all of you will be in beginning algebra. Be sure to look at the course ID in your syllabus and use that in this box. But you're going to, uh, if you're a new student to my math lab, you're going to have to use the course ID from the syllabus right in here in this box. And when you're done, you hit continue. Now, if you've had a Pearson account before, you type in your username and your password and uh, if you forgot your username or password, feel free to click here and the, uh, the way they let you know is really good. However, since Blazy has never used my math lab before, she came over to create a Pearson account and she clicked on create. Notice that she's told what class she's signing up for. Always double check and make sure you're signing up for the right class. Okay, Blazy's name is Blazy Rademacher because she's my dog, but she chose to be Blaze Smith. Smith was her previous owner. This is her email address. She filled out the entire form. What's your father's middle name? Fido. Got it. Sure. Once she filled out all the information, she created an account. Click. Now, she had to make a decision, and that's very hard for dogs. Um, she doesn't have a credit card, so she couldn't pay with her credit card and just go ahead and pay the $91.30. USD means US dollars, United States dollars. Um, if she had bought a bundled edition, or if she had bought a code uh, in the NWAC bookstore, for instance, uh, she would have clicked access code because she'd have an access code to put in. What Blazy chose to do, though, was to go here, get a temporary access without payment for 17 days. Now, you have to keep an eye on that because if the 17 days runs out and you have not paid for the account, everything you've done will be lost. Not good. But anyway, Blazy did that. And now she's done. She's done. She has temporary access for 17 days says uh, how she can go about getting an account, how she can go about getting a permanent account. Not permanent, I think it only lasts for six months to a year. Uh, says the class that she signed up for. Now she, she's so excited that she didn't even read the rest of this, but you will because you're human. Um, and she clicked on go to your course. And there's her course. She really does have a beginning algebra my math lab course and Blazy is very very excited. This is the end of my of the uh, orientation part one. Uh, orientation part two will introduce you to my math lab. Orientation part three will tell you how you're going to be graded.
talk to you soon.